Hi, it's Dr. Ross Carter. Welcome back. This is part two of how to become a best-selling author in about 90 days or less. I'm excited about this topic because number one, I've been a best-selling author twice and it has made a dramatic improvement on my business. And I'm about to release a third book in February. It's called Inflammaging, which should be my third best-selling book. I'm excited about that. And this is one of the reasons I'm making this podcast, because I'm actually going through all these steps right now. They're fresh in my mind, and so I can teach you how to do the same thing. So this is part two. If you haven't heard part one, you might want to go back and listen to it. Otherwise, let's get going. Welcome to the Regenerative Warrior Podcast, Doctor's Edition. One of the fastest growing regenerative medicine and anti-aging podcasts in the world. Each and every Tuesday and Thursday, I talk to the top experts to show doctors how to market, manage, and magnify their practice to help more people and make more money. Each episode is short and to the point without wasting your time with pointless conversation. Learn the skills to be successful without traveling to seminars or paying for expensive consulting fees. Are you ready? Because I am. I'm Dr. Ross Carter, and it's time to start the Regenerative Warrior Podcast now. So after part one, I got this question a lot. Actually, I always get this question. And when I'm talking to people, they say, is writing a book still relevant in the age of the internet and social media? And actually, I would say even more than ever. And let me tell you why. We typically don't trust the information that's online anymore because really anybody can post anything they want on social media or blogs or whatever. Even the news can be fake, as we know from Donald Trump, right? Books are still of high value. People still value books. Because look, most of us grew up learning from books. We didn't use iPads when we were in school, most of us anyway. We tend to believe the information in a book is true. In fact, we value books so much that most people never throw away a book, even if they don't read it. Because if someone's taken the time to write a book, we tend to believe the information is true. I'll give you an example. One of my favorite speakers and people is actually Tony Robbins. And I was actually at one of his events not long ago. He's a speaker, a business advisor, an entrepreneur, a philanthropist, and a best-selling author. Now, he recently published two books, Money Master the Game and Unshakable. Now, why would he do that if they didn't make a difference? Because they do. Now, many of you know him because he's been on TV and he's a TV personality, but maybe you don't know that he initially got noticed because of a controversial book that he did on alternative healing. How about Michelle Obama? She was the former first lady. Now, obviously, she's a lawyer, but she's also a best-selling author. And of course, Donald Trump, regardless of how you feel about him, he's still a successful businessman and a best-selling author. So you see maybe a trend here. There are a lot of best-sellers out there that really do well in business. Being a best-selling author really gives you massive authority. Now, most people never actually write a book. On average, about 80% of Americans have thought about publishing a book, but fewer than 1% really actually do it. And today, what I want to do is cover some of the common myths that you might have that has led to the belief about whether you should write a book or not. The first one I get a lot is maybe someone thinks they're not enough of an expert. When I work with my private coaching and consulting clients, uh, that's the most common thing I hear. And I usually just say, well, let's just sit down and let me ask you questions about your business because I bet we could talk for a few hours about what you do, how you do it, who you do it for, how you're different, maybe talk about client stories, success stories. We could record all of that. You know, you might be surprised, but an average book is around two hours of spoken content. So let's put that myth to rest right now because it's simply not true. Hi, sorry for the interruption. Advanced Regenerative Medicine Institute has announced their second annual Evolve Conference, which I will be speaking at. So if you want to join me uh, on February 7th through the 9th, which is about a month away, in Salt Lake City, Utah, you can get a 15% discount on your registration when you use the code WARRIOR15. That's WARRIOR15 and you get 15% off. Back to the show. Most people forget that once they learn something that other people don't know it. And then you have that conception that everybody knows it and it's simply not true. So I imagine most of you are expert at something in your industry or your field. Maybe you think, well, I don't know if I should even try to be a bestseller because I don't have a list. I don't have a following. And instead of trying to have a list to write a book 
or to sell a book is you're writing a book so that you could build your list. You actually use your book to build your following in your list. So don't wait till you have a list. Why don't you use a book to build your list? Now, the next one is that maybe you think you're not a good writer or you don't know how. And you don't have to know how. You can take out your phone and record your knowledge and then have it transcribed. There are services that can make it sound great. So you can literally just take your iPhone or your other phone or whatever kind of phone you have, record your content and have it transcribed and use that content for the raw data of a book. So the next one is that you don't have time. All it really takes is about 10 minutes a day and you can get your content done in about five weeks. You can add frequently asked questions. You can have testimonials. There's a lot of information that you can put in this book and really get it done. Four to six weeks, you're set. So don't let, you know, you think your lack of time stop you. Now, the next one is you don't need help. Now, I hear this mainly from people who are already writing a book and they are in the middle of it and the process of it, or they've been working on it for about a year or two years or their whole life. And really what happens is they get distracted and they get caught up in other things and the book never gets done. See, there's a hard way to do things and an easy way to do things. Trying to figure it out yourself is the hard way. There's systems to show you how to make it easy and fast so they can actually get it done. Done is better than perfect, right? So it's better to have something than nothing at all, which is the case with most of us. Now, so next week, we're going to go over the 10 steps to become a best-selling author so that you can really do this. I'm going to lay it out, give you the easy way to become a best-selling author. I'll give you an example. I mean, you can do this with your phone, 10 minutes a day, four weeks, you've got a book. Keep in mind, there's a difference between an author and a writer. You want to be an author. You don't want to necessarily be the writer as well. The author is basically creating the ideas and the raw content, the basic ideas, and the writer is taking that information and forming it into a readable and interesting content. So become an author and don't try to become also a writer. But I'll show you all the things that you need to do to make this reality. And trust me, it's worth it. So hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. And if you would do me a favor and share this with people that you know, I would truly appreciate it. And it would help this podcast grow anyway until next time. Oh, by the way, if you're ready to get started and you want to do this and you don't want to do it yourself, I can help you with these as well. You know, I work with private clients. So if you want to find out more about that, just go to my website, drrosscarter.com. That's all one word, drrosscarter.com. And you can set up a time to talk with me about maybe helping you get this thing done. So just let me know. I'd love to help. Thanks for listening to our podcast. Please subscribe to be notified of all new episodes and also like and share this to help us grow. To find out more about this speaker, become a speaker on our show, to have Dr. Carter present at your event or podcast, learn more about coaching, consulting, tissue allographs, exosomes, supplements, legal help, or how to create a million-dollar business card to dominate your local area, we're here to help you. Just text your name and your question to 561-962-1231. Write that down. That's 561-962-1231. Or you can go to our website at drrosscarter.com. That's D-R-R-O-S-S-C-A-R-T-E-R.com to learn more. Until next time, this is Dr. Ross Carter signing off. Signing off.